Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with Troy Total War Saga. And uh, yeah, obviously the new Total War title that they have decided to do, a war between the Trojans and the Greeks of ancient, well the ancient period. And since every YouTuber and his dog is doing, well, campaigns at the moment, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. I thought we'd do a little mini tournament and we'd uh, try out the leaders of uh, each faction, so like all the heroes, and uh, see which one is the best. So you've got like Achilles, Hector, Agamemnon, Aeneas, you've got about eight different uh, heroes. I've done a random wheel, hopefully post-credit Pope has put up the table now showing like the fixtures that are going to be fought, but uh, yeah, it is going to be interesting. Some of the uh, people on there, we've got Hector versus Sarpedon, I'm pretty sure we've got Menelaus versus Agamemnon, which will be interesting since they're supposed to be allies, but they're actually going to be fighting each other, so it'll be interesting to see. So anyway, we'll get into the first uh, battle in a moment, but if you haven't already, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and a comment if you'd like to see more Troy Total War, or just are enjoying the video. And uh, yeah, we'll get on with the first battle. So here we are with the first match, and it is Sarpedon versus Hector, and I have a feeling that uh, my predictions are going to be that Hector probably wins this, since he's like supposed to be the rival to Achilles and like the Trojan uh, forces then I'm gonna say that is probably the uh, gonna be like the case I mean it looks like here that he's just gonna stand and wait for Sarpedon. Sarpedon's forced to go over there and march over but we'll uh, see what happens I mean Sarpedon might be pretty good I mean these are the this is a Trojan an all Trojan match here so we'll uh, have a look and see who's gonna win this as they go in for the first clash and then Sarpedon gets like the initial like attack off and now they just kind of stand off each other and they're fighting in the long grass. And I do apologise if you can hear like anything going on outside. I do unfortunately have to have my windows open because it's so warm in the UK. It is impossible to like breathe without having like fresh air just coming in constantly. But as we can see here, the glorious fight is going on. It looks like uh, Hex is probably getting more hits in than Sarpedon is. That big shield from Hector is certainly doing some damage here. Well, have a look at the uh, have a look at the at the scores. I mean, Sarpedon's done a fair about amount of damage to Hector, but he's done taken as much himself. So we'll have to see who will win. Uh, who will win this? I mean, could, could be close. Could be very close. But yeah, I've never heard of Sarpedon before. Like Troy, I'd, he's rather from like Ly Lycia. It's like like southern Turkey. Oh, that was a good hit there from Sarpedon, and right into the back of uh, Hector's like breastplate. Oh, another one there, literally the same move. Hector, it's, and obviously the animations will be uh, limited, but I mean, Hector needs to learn to block that one, doesn't he? I've done it again, a third time. <laughs> um, yeah, Sarpedon has taken just as many hits. Oh, that was a big hit there. Just on another one there. And it's just, just knees him in the face, see what happened there. Slaps him with the shield. He eggs him on, we'll see what happens. I mean, this could be... Could be quite close, I think. Could be very close. I mean, it does look gorgeous, this, this uh, game. Like, the uh, the long grass as well just looks amazing. It does look very much like... Uh, like Troy, I guess, from like the movies and what like Turkey would have looked like at that time. There you go. Still going on. This is a pretty long duel. They have tanky units of these uh, heroes. Good stab there from Hector. And he's, it looks like Sarpedon's finished. He's not even looking the right way. Maybe he was dazed. Maybe he was dazed. Oh, he grabbed a shield. Very nice. Take care. You are <laughs> he's just, ground. he's egging the wrong way. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's skipped past uh, that little uh, trip there by Hector. And he's now, well, he's still on the back foot. It's Harpedon. He's really having a hard time. Rushes Hector now. Gets stabbed in the chest. Brushes it off like it's nothing though. Oh, he gets a nice little hit in there. That's like the fourth time he's done that. And there we go, close to feet. I think Sarpaton's morale just gave in and he uh, he was beaten. So uh, that is the first battle on, and we'll move on to the second one, I guess. So the second battle is Odysseus and Paris. So it's a, the two like archer heroes now uh, duking it out. So we'll see who's the best archer in uh, mythology, so is under it looks like uh, Paris got hit the most, like the initially, uh, Odysseus getting a good hit, but now I mean Paris got in a second one just there. I mean, Paris got a really nice hill as Odysseus like just jukes out here. 
You can't even see Paris and just like Odysseus gets knocked back there. So we'll have a look at Paris' position. You can't even see him. He's like in the middle of this, uh, this forest here. See if we can get rid of the, uh, oh, we can't actually get rid of the, uh, the foliage, but he is in there. Hopefully we can see him. Hope we can can't really see him. God, this is not helpful for uh, looking at. But that, I mean, you can see him there. He's looking okay. But, I mean, this one's definitely going to be one that you're going to need uh, the old uh, hood on to see who's doing like the most damage. Because it's just like firing archers. Looks like Odysseus is losing this one. Pyrus is like, I mean, maybe the like the height is helping. But he seems to be getting in like one or two shots every couple of times that Odysseus is uh, getting another. And Odysseus is now moving. Oh, look at that! That shot is just like. Like the amount of damage just in the air, and look at that. Odysseus is nearly finished already. This is gonna be a really, really quick one. And there you go, he has run, and Odysseus has been beaten. So, we were there are the end results, and uh, I guess obviously there's nothing interesting. So, we'll move on to the third game. Uh, so, Paris moves on to the second round, and yes, Odysseus has been defeated. So, here we are with the third game, and the man himself, Achilles, and he is fighting. Aeneas here, the uh, technically the founder of Rome in a way because he does escape Troy and well kind of sets up like the Latin people and that then go on to become the Romans in like mythology that is anyway that's what they say uh, like in the Roman texts that's what happened so we'll have to see if uh, the founder of Rome or the legends the demigod himself Achilles can win this well, he's not really a demigod but like he's almost a god literally can't be killed apart from one spot but we'll see here in the first clash and the air I mean Aeneas and Achilles both getting a good hit there and I'll just kind of juke and standing off each other this time like Aeneas is like oh there's the other team like moved so they actually uh, were a bit aggressive and we'll see who fights fights out here and wins this could be close Aeneas here using a sword and shield and uh, Achilles using like the hot plate sort of Spear and round shield. Oh, a nice little hit in there from Aeneas. My prediction is that Achilles might clinch this, but it's going to be close, I think. Achilles, obviously, Achilles and Hector are going to be favourites, strong favourites to go far in this tournament. It's going to be uh, take a lot to beat them. But whoever wins this one is going to be going through to face the victor of Menelaus and Agamemnon. And there you go, Aeneas uh, doing... A, uh, an ability. I'm not quite sure what ability that was. Achilles is certainly getting pretty beaten up. We'll have a look and see who's winning. Oh, it's very close. I'd say Menelaus is ever so slightly losing, but uh, I mean, he seems to be holding his ground really nicely. Godlike power indeed. You are basically a god. I don't know. Oh, he just like took that one to Achilles. He's like a champ. It's like, you just hit me in this? Didn't even realize. Oh, and he's going to celebrate. He thinks he's won as Aeneas, and he's just getting stabbed in the chest for his, uh, for his wrongdoing there. And this is still going on. This is a really, really close one. There you go. Looks like Achilles has forced him off the field, and that is going to be a, uh, a victory for Achilles as he goes berserk right at the end there. So Achilles, as I thought, would go through. And, uh, well, it was going to be a close one. Uh, they're both very, very strong contenders. But Achilles, probably him and Hector are probably going to get to the furthest. But we will have to see. So now we will see who faces Achilles in the next round. Will it be Agamemnon or will it be Menelaus? So here we go. We have Agamemnon and Menelaus about to duke it out. And there's the first clash. And I'd say that Menelaus certainly got the uh, better hit in there. Agamemnon just missed there. He's got like a scepter or something he's using. That looks really, really cool. I'd say uh, I'm not quite sure who's going to win this one. I think I think Agamemnon's better at leading masses of troops, while Agamemnon is a a stronger fighter, like solo fighter. But I mean, I wouldn't knock Agamemnon down just yet. There he goes, getting hit in the chest though. Agamemnon, that's not going to hurt. That's going to hurt. And to the helmet, I like his helmet though. It looks like reminds like a squid almost, like with the tentacles coming out. It might be the, like the style it's going for. 
And obviously, like, Agamemnon eventually, after, like, Menelaus dies, uses, like, the invasion to sort of expand his own empire and try and control across the Aegean and defeat a rival that is the Trojans. Can he, uh, can he kill off Menelaus in this to, uh, to, like, continue his dreams there? Or will he die here? I'm not sure. We'll have a look. It's, uh, it's not looking good for Agamemnon. As, uh, as I thought, he's uh, a lot better at leading troops, I think. His abilities are a lot better for, like, supporting his troops rather than actually, like, himself. And there you go. He's uh, routed. I haven't actually seen a single one die yet. I feel like they're not going to die. They're rather, they're going to rout before they die, almost, to try and live for another day. Um, but yeah, there we go. It is now going to be Hector versus Paris. It's going to be the two brothers of Troy fighting each other. And it's going to be Achilles versus Menelaus. And then we will, in the semi-finals, so then go into the final. So we will see who will win out of those. So first, we will go with Paris versus Hector. So here we go. The battle between the Trojan brothers, Paris and Hector. And it's kind of going to be interesting to see whether Paris can do enough damage to Hector that, uh, well, that he can then win the melee fight when Hector eventually gets there. Because look at this, he's already done quite a bit of damage to him. And, uh, I mean, Hector's now going to just avoid him. I mean, he's getting hit, like, nearly every time he gets... Like, every time he gets closer, he's getting hit. And, that, yeah, there you go, more damage being done. It looks like he should be blocking it with his shield, and he just doesn't. It just takes a little bit more damage. But, yeah, I mean, he's getting very, very close. I mean, Paris over here is just, like, calmly doing his thing. Can actually have a look at the unit now that he's not hidden in uh, the trees, but he looks awesome, doesn't he? He looks really, really nice. And his uh, his brother is getting uh, very close. It looks like he's going to do a special ability. Here. He's holding the boat. Yeah. Oh, he missed Hector with that. And here comes Hector coming in. And the Paris gets off the first slashes. So I mean, Hector's off to a rough start here. Will be interesting to see. Could just banter the day away. You've got to fight a battle, Paris. See who wins this. Banter after you've beaten your brother. I mean, Paris is not shabby in combat at all. He's like primarily an archer hero, but like, he's really, really good in combat, it seems. Oh, look at that, a nice little dodge. Now he's fighting in the foliage. He just loves the foliage too much, this Paris. I mean, these two are uh, going to the death by the looks of it. They are not giving any ground up. Who is winning by the looks of it? I mean, it looks like Hector is just about winning now. He's sort of turned it around. Paris is going to fire off a, a shot, but like, Hector's not doing anything. There he goes, he's, just gets a nice cheap shot. I think, I don't think Paris actually hit him, and then he's running now. There you go. Hector has won. So, Hector is into the final against, uh, well, the winner of Achilles and Menelaus. So, could we have Achilles, Hector? Or will Menelaus spoil the party? We will have to see in the next battle. So, here we go, the clash of Menelaus and Achilles. Who is going to win? I don't know who I've got my money on. I think both are pretty tanky. Menelaus showed it in his uh, battle against Agamemnon. He just barely took any damage and beat Agamemnon pretty easily. Achilles found it a little bit harder to take on Aeneas. I won't lie. And uh, he seems to go berserk quite often and just seems to be out of control. So that might be to his uh, disadvantage. And he keeps looking behind him like something's going on there. That's not going to help him either. You should run now. I'm not here to talk. Oh, a nice little uh, knee in the face there from Menelaus. So let's have a look in the early stages of this battle. Who's winning? I mean, balance power. Wow, look at that. Menelaus is absolutely getting destroyed at this point. He is, like, having the hardest time of his life. Achilles is uh, looking pretty good. And balance power is definitely in his favor. Not that it really means much, I guess. It's just... We'll have to see. 
Oh, nice little dodge there from uh, Achilles. Just avoiding that spear thrust. And Menelaus just replies with another dodge of his own. They're just trading shots off their shields. No one really able to get a nice, clean shot. They're both very, like, both like hot plights. But before hot plights were around, really. Oh, there you go. A big hit there from uh, Menelaus. That could change it. Menelaus using an ability. And uh, Achilles is not paying attention. And now he's just got hit in the face. Gets a nice hit in there. Now uh, Achilles is on the attack. Can he beat Menelaus? Menelaus might have done a lot of damage with that, uh, that spear thrust of his own. And there you go. Look at that. The hero has fallen. And Achilles is dead. How he was stabbed in the chest, I have no idea to be killed. But Menelaus has won. Wow. I did not see that coming. So it looks like we're going to have Menelaus in the final against Hexer. Wow, I am surprised. Achilles is being. That is very, very surprising. But anyway, we'll get on to the final then. And Menelaus versus Hector. So here we go, the first clash, and it looks like Hector is going to get in the first hit, and it's going to be interesting to see. Hector, obviously, in like the film, Troy, like, defeats Paris. Obviously, like, Paris flees. No, Menelaus, sorry. Menelaus beats Paris. But, uh, yeah. Well, so can he beat the older brother? Can he beat Hector? I'm not sure. Hector's obviously very, very strong. He's not really had much of an issue in, like, the last round. The last two rounds he's fought in. Menelaus certainly had a... Was also, like, had a hard battle against Achilles, but seems to do well against Agamemnon, so it'll be hard to tell. It's going to be a big old grueling fight. You're just stabbing each other with a spear. We'll have to see who can win this fight. Menelaus is celebrating like he's already won. Getting a smack in the face for his, uh... Well, his stupid move there. And there he goes. Gets another big whack in the face. The Hector certainly looks like he's in the ascendancy here. How much damage have each of them taken? It must be close. Yeah, it's really close. I'd say Hector's possibly taken more. Actually, no, it's quite close. I mean, Menelaus has ever so slightly taken more uh, morale damage. And there you go. It looks like Hector's like sort of trying to heal himself or something like that. I'm not sure. Can he, uh, can either of these guys just find a way through? Menelaus is getting a good little knee in there. And look, he's going to do some sort of ability, it looks like. I'm not quite sure what that ability is. But he's using the last one and it defeated Achilles. So will it be doing the same? Both are so close on, like, health now. It is insanely close. But it looks like Men uh, Hector here has actually got no... He's got no morale left and he's going to be defeated. And look at that. It looks like Menelaus is going to be... The victor. Hector just gives up and just like, like that's it. He's just, the morale just shattered. So there we go. That is going to be the victor of uh, the, well, of the tournament. The mini like tournament to decide who is the strongest uh, hero in Troy. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was really going to be Hector or Achilles. I mean, obviously someone else, some other YouTuber will probably go and do it and get like Achilles as being yeah, but from my scientific, like, little research, Menelaus, that's who you want. In a grueling, like, fight one-on-one, -on -one, he is the, the one to, well, get you the victory, it seems. Uh, obviously, like, other heroes have got, like, better things, like Agamemnon, for, like, definitely is better as a support hero. And, uh, obviously, like, Paris and Odysseus are not supposed to be going into combat too much. They should be shooting from range uh, to influence the battle. But that's not what we were doing. We were doing a, like, 1v1 brawl to the death obviously the range units got a little bit of an advantage in some way that they could just shoot to start with but paris didn't get only got to the second round uh he was defeated by his brother 
So, I mean, if you guys enjoyed and would like to see some more Troy action, uh, I don't think I'll be doing a campaign anytime soon, but I might try and do some, like, other, like, wacky sort of, like, battles. Either it's, like, I don't know, like, thousands of chariots up against, like, the worst unit in the game. Um, which I wouldn't actually be 100% sure what that is yet. I haven't tried out Troy just yet enough. Or, I don't know, we'll find some interesting stuff to try and different stuff to do, which other people aren't doing at the moment, uh, to try out. Uh, and, uh, yeah, if you'd like to see more of that sort of, like, stuff, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment. Or if you'd like to see another tournament, I could do like, what's the best unit in the game? Like, uh, best sword unit, best spear unit, whatever. Best chariot unit, that would be interesting to see actually. But yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a look and see uh, um, what we can do. But like I said, let me know in the comments. Your comments influence what I do. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye.